Hello everybody. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn the new chapter. Chapter number 6, Cash Flow Statement. Before we begin with the chapter, let's have a brief introduction about the chapter. Cash plays a very important role in the economic life of a business. A firm needs cash to make payment to its supplier, to incur day-to-day -day expenses and to pay salaries, wages, interest and dividends, etc. In fact, what blood is to a human body, cash is to a business enterprise. Thus, it is very essential for a business to maintain an adequate balance of cash. The sources of cash and application of cash, both the decisions are very important. It is desirable to procure cash from an appropriate source. At the same time, it is important to invest cash in appropriate opportunity. This information is not disclosed by profit and loss statement and balance sheet. There are different objectives to prepare these statements. What are the sources of cash? Where cash is invested? This information is available from cash flow statement. Therefore, the presentation of cash flow is mandatory for certain business enterprises so that investors can take their decisions in appropriate manner. Now, let us understand the meaning of cash flow statement. A cash flow statement is a statement specifying the cash inflows and cash outflows arising from the operating, investing and financing activities during the two successive balance sheets explaining the difference between the opening and closing cash balance. So we can say that cash flow statement is a statement that shows the flow of cash and cash equivalents during a particular period. Cash flows are inflows that is receipts and outflows that is payments of cash and cash equivalents. Transactions that increase cash and cash equivalents are inflows of cash and cash equivalents and transactions that decrease cash and cash equivalents are outflow of cash and cash equivalents. Now let us see forms of cash. Here first we have cash in hand, second cash in bank and third cash equivalent. Cash equivalents are short term, highly liquid investments that are readily convertible into the known amount of cash and which are subject to an insignificant risk of change in value. An investment normally qualifies as cash equivalent only when it has a short maturity of say 3 months or less from the date of acquisition. Examples of cash equivalents are treasury bills, commercial paper and preference shares if they are redeemable within three months from the date of purchase and they have insignificant risk of change in its value etc. Now let us understand classification of cash flow activities. In cash flow statement activities of specific period are classified into three categories. First operating activities and cash flow from operating activities. Second, investing activities and cash flow from investing activities. And third, financing activities and cash flow from financing activities. So, dear students, go through the video. In the next session, we will be studying cash flow from investing activities. Thank you very much.